Hey, what's up guys, Steven here. Welcome back to another video. So, well, uh, my girlfriend's MacBook charger broke down and it's the 96 watt Apple charger. Now those things are actually kind of expensive, around 80 euros at least, and it only comes with one USB-C outlet. So if you want to charge other devices well, then you need to bring another charger or use the MacBook. But then I found this company, it's called Ugreen, and they have this 100 watt charger, which is pretty amazing as it is capable of supplying enough power to not only charge your MacBook or notebook, but also to charge other devices like tablet, smartphone or the Nintendo Switch. Now let's have a closer look and let's see if it's worth the money. Alright, so let's do a quick unpacking. Well, this is my broken 96 watt Apple charger and this one is around 80 euros here in Europe. And the thing is it only has one USB Type-C outlet. So if you, for instance, have a MacBook or a laptop and you also want to charge your phone, you need to connect it to the computer blocking some of your USB outputs. Now, this is really nice about the Ugreen fast charger because it supports 100 watts and has four power outlets. So we have three Type-C ports and one USB-A port. And also from the size, it's very similar as you will see in a second. So let's open it up and let's check out what we can find inside of the package. And there we go. All right, so here is the charger. And as you can see, it's even a little bit smaller than the Apple charger. And let's take it out. This is the European version. That means it comes here with a fixed um, connector for European power sockets. There is also an international version right over here. The benefit of this is it comes with um, the American power socket outlet and you can just use any adapter here um, yeah, to use it in your country. And also you can just fold the connectors in like this which means it is very, very small compared to the European one. Other than that, they're actually kind of similar. Now, um, this is everything you can find inside of the box. So there is no additional cable included, but I would recommend if you really want to have fast charging, you also should get a proper cable. And here Ugreen also has um, USB-C cables. And let's check it out. And there we go. So, um, this is a one meter cable, if I'm right. Um, yes, one meter, gray black, as you can see. Looks like pretty decent quality, and this can keep up with the power standards of this charger. Now, let's have a closer look here at the USB ports. So, we have four ports on each charger. They are labeled C1, C2, C3, and USB A. Now, the total output of the charger is 100 watts. That does not mean that each individual can supply 100 watt at the same time. So if you, for instance, drain 70 watts from USB-C1, then you only have 30 watts available for the other ports. Now USB-C1 and C2, so both ports, are actually compatible with up to 100 watts max. USB-C3 is a 22.5 watt output, and USB-A um, has 22.5 watts maximum too. So just keep that in mind, and now, Let's have a closer look, let's connect it to some devices and let's see if they're charging well. All right, so here we have my little charging setup and I have quite a lot of devices at home. So I repair consoles and I need to charge devices all of the time. Now let's see how good it really works. So we have all the cables connected. Now for the 100 watt ports, make sure that you use the right cable. If you use a Type-C cable that is not certified for 100 watts, then maybe the charging speed will be reduced. So it's really important to use also with a high quality charger, high quality cables. This is why I'm using the Ugreen cable here. Then here, um, a big one. This is just a Thunderbolt cable, also up to 100 watts. Here we have an Apple Lightning cable. And down here we have a normal USB-A to USB-C um, cable. Then now let's plug it in into my power meter right over here. Now let's turn on the output. And in idle, the charger is actually draining around seven watts. So this is without anything connected, seven watts here from the power socket. So this is also kind of interesting. So in standby, it's also draining like seven watts. So make sure if you want to save power, that's not all the time in your power socket. And now let's see um, if for instance, the Mate 40 Pro is charging here. Okay, turns on right away, Huawei, and there we go. 
So the Huawei Mate 40 Pro is charging, let's unplug it, let's plug it back in again. And as you can see, it's not supporting Huawei um, supercharging, but anyhow, it's still possible to charge it. Now with Samsung, it's possible because um, their charging works kind of different. So if you use a Samsung phone, you will actually get um, that supercharging or fast charging message on the screen. So for Samsung phones, perfectly fine. For Huawei, let's wait a little bit um, because the battery was totally drained if it keeps up. We'll put it now um, to the side. Now let's check out the iPhone. So the iPhone I tested out yesterday already and it was charging really, really fast. So that's pretty good. Just the same like if you connect it to your MacBook or to um, the Apple Quick Charger. All right, then um, we have here also a notebook. So at the same time where you charge both phones, you can also charge um, a notebook at the same time. So just make sure you use the C1 or C2 port and it should be this cable. So let's plug it in and let's check it out. So we have now three devices connected and we had 85 watts from the wall, of course, not output at the charger, but we are getting close to the 100 watts, which this charger should actually supply. So that's why we can just connect a fourth device. And for that, we'll just charge the tablet right over here. So there we go. Let's plug it in and let's see what it is doing. All right, so we now have connected two laptops. So um, also a MacBook at C1, which is draining quite some power. Then um, the MateBook on the second 100 watt port. Then we have an iPhone charging and we have the Huawei MatePad 11 charging. And we had peaks of around about 130 watts from the power socket. So the output will be close to 100 watts. We're also going to measure that in some of the next videos when the equipment is arriving. But anyhow, it works. All the devices are charging, no device stops charging. Now for sure it doesn't charge that fast because we have two laptops on the 100 watt port so they are sharing the power. We have a phone charging, we have the MatePad charging and that's pretty amazing. Now you need to be sure, um, now you just need to make sure that you connect the right device to the right power outlet. So if you have something using power delivery, use um, the upper ports up to 100 watts if you have some slower charging devices like iPhone or tablet, just use some of the other ports. But all in all, the charger is working. It can supply the power to all the four devices and this is basically what matters. Now here's something that's really interesting about this charger. My Apple MacBook charger gets really, really hot and you need to be careful not to leave it somewhere inside of your backpack while charging or anything else. Now Ugreen is using GAN FETs. They have a really good thermal efficiency and as you can see, um, the surface temperature of the charger, it doesn't go over 40 degrees. So it keeps it really cool by even supplying over 100 watts to all the devices or actually around 100 watts because 100 watts is the maximum output. But as you can see, that's really good and we have here maximum 39, 40 degrees. But overall, this charger really delivers a lot of great functionality for the price. Now some people may complain that there is only one USB-A port, but well, there are many adapters um, for USB-C, so I don't think that's a big problem though. Anyhow, um, big thanks for watching this video. If you want to check it out, links are down below and post a comment down below on what chargers you actually use. I think the topic chargers gets more and more important. We all have more devices that have batteries that are smart and that needs to be charged and having one charger for many devices definitely makes a lot of sense. So, all right guys, as always, big thanks for watching. I'm Steven from Tech Magnet and I'm signing up. Bye.